Hi guys, what's up? Zax here. Today we are here with NASCAR 2014. We're starting off the career mode today. We're going to be doing the Daytona 500 and everything that comes before it. But guys, if you enjoy this series, please remember to hit like on the video and also subscribe to the channel. It'll be much appreciated. I'm going to be putting out quite a lot of content here. So, you know, if you like NASCAR, definitely the place to be. I'm going to be putting out a lot of content. Uh, only one video today, but I'll be doing more tomorrow, so don't worry about that. But let's get into this. Um, start off first name. Let's just put Alex, and move down. Put let's put Afro. Not my actual last name, but I'll choose that. Uh, nationality. Do we get the opportunity to put a British flag? I think we do. There's the great British flag. Manufacturer. I've always been. Um, I've always liked the Chevrolet more, so that that's what we're going to be going with here. Team name. Um, let's just go with Afro. Motorsport. Do they put? Do they put? No, I don't think they do. There you go. And car number. Well, twenty-three is my favourite number, so that, that's perfect. Uh, and um, I'm not using a controller. I'm actually using my keyboard, so that should be fun. Uh, it does look quite similar to 2013, if you remember that. But uh, I'm just going to quickly change the controls. If I have the possibility to do that, the controls and uh, wheel calibrations. Oh, I need to I need to take out the wheel. I've got that plugged in. Is that the wheel? No, that is not the wheel. Um, so I've got my G27 plugged in, and I didn't want to use that. I wanted to. I want to use this for the meantime. Up arrow. Yep. Yeah, and yep. Yeah. Clutch, don't really want that. Steer left, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's all good. Change view, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Actually, I want to put the brake to spacebar. I know it's really weird, um, but that's just what I've I've done. Oh, wait, did it just save them? Yeah, it did. Um, so, yeah, let's get into this career mode, guys. Um, I need to change the options, I think. Research and development, driver details, view the car. I guess, yep, yeah, pretty, pretty similar to 2013. This opening menu. Um, no sponsors. I expected that. Nobody wants to have us sponsoring them. So, at the moment, we haven't got anybody uh, sponsoring our car. I don't think, except from the little ones and the, the sort of stuff, the front part of the car. I haven't really watched NASCAR the last half of the last half of last season that makes any sense but I'm going to try and get into it once again this year because I really loved um, I really loved last season the first half of it and then I just don't know why I just stopped watching it oh no this is going to be a bit oh no with with the uh, with the keyboard this is going to be interesting alright so bear with me guys I've got to learn this game again and uh, hopefully I can get everything hopefully it's all well, I don't know why there's a lot of smoke coming out of the front tyres every time I steer but it seems to be going to the inside quite easily oh god yeah I definitely need to be going slow there going way too fast into turn one and uh, these episodes I'm hoping they're going to be around the why are my tyres like burning up is it really that sensitive? I don't think it likes me using a keyboard here. Look at all the smoke that's coming out of the car. Yeah, look, it just goes from one... Oh, no. It just goes from one one extreme to the other, so it's definitely not liking this. Um, but somehow, hopefully the tyres just aren't going to wear down. Hopefully I can just continue and do two laps, but that's a bit crazy. I honestly expected it to be a bit more like 2013, but by the looks of that, that hasn't been optimized very well whatsoever, by the, just by the looks of it. Because um, they seem to look, watch the steering wheel. Okay, well, look, look. Okay, I wasn't paying attention there, so that's a nice bit of contact of the wall. Um, but yeah, that's a bit That's a bit strange, actually. They, they did it quite, you know, they did quite a good job with the steering in the... Um, So I'm trying to listen to the spotter, but is this game meant to be used with a wheel then? 
because okay now we're on a straight look at the steering wheel there's one lock to the other you know I expected that but that's a bit shocking to me because I don't that, that didn't happen in 20 um, 2013 maybe there's something in the menus I can change with that but that is very strange to me it's like I'm like burning out the tires straight away which is not good whatsoever Look at those front tyres, nearly destroyed, blimey. But yeah guys, I will be doing a lot of this. Uh, hoping I can invest in a, con a wired controller. I guess that should make this a uh, better, better experience instead of tyre squeal all the time. But does not look like this game enjoys being played with a... Um, doesn't look like it likes being used with a keyboard if that makes any sense but I think I'm not too disappointed with um, that in consideration with the tyres smoking up everywhere return to the pit lane okay I've got to do another lap do you think you know you guys are probably going to be more knowledgeable about this than me should I um, should I switch to what am I trying to say here should I, should I should I set it up with the wheel? Should I go get a controller? Is it the only the Xbox um, 360 con wired controller that works with it? I, I don't know. You guys will know better than me in this situation. Oh yeah, pit lane, pit lane. Right, I think this is the way to the pit lane. But yeah, guys, bear with me. Oh my god, the car just doesn't steer. Okay, I think I'm going to have to keep it on this part of the track until get to a straight line because the car does not like steering tires have gone obviously I can't just go out and get a controller right now the first few episodes might what black flag penalty time added to the end of the race so it's automatic pit lane by the looks of this. Not really, well not controlling it, so yes it is. And I guess this is my pit box right here. Okay, maybe not. Okay, what does it want me to do? Okay, there you go. Steering, oh was it? Trash control, I think we'll leave the, I think we'll leave those on. Racing assist, we can put those off. I think, just to start, I'm going to have these, um, I'm just going to have those settings, but hopefully as I progress, I can uh, get better at the game and turn off some of those assists. That's what I'm hoping, at least. Oh, am I supposed to be answering these questions? I'd... Okay. I don't really like it that it cuts off um, in the middle of his. Oh yeah, I've got to go through a load of things. What? Okay, let's just go with that. Right guys, I'm going to skip ahead now, I'm going to cut out the qualifying, because I don't want this video to be too long, but I'll, I'll be back to you when the race is starting. Hi guys, we are back, now to do the Daytona Jewels, and um, looking forward to this, hoping, with all fingers crossed, that my tyres can make it to the end here. Um, I've got it set to 5% races, I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't want to be doing too long races, especially if these tyres are going to be exploding all over the place. And by the looks of it, I've already lost the slipstream. As I said guys, you've got to bear with me. Look at the amount of smoke that's coming out of my car. This is... It obviously does not... This is actually just a bit ridiculous, isn't it? I think I probably need to put down the difficulty if I'm going to start off like this. Because look at the smoke coming out the back. I guess this game just really doesn't like being played with a keyboard and I'm probably going to have to put down the difficulty because it looks like I've got an engine failure for goodness sake 
I don't know why that's not optimized to be honest guys I'm gonna probably be lapped at this pace blimey look at that it's just because I've got to do like little adjustments all over the place to try and even get to go in a straight line oh my god yeah so be, be, um, be patient guys I realize that this isn't going exactly to plan and obviously I, I would have loved to be able to race these guys but by the looks of it uh, it's just not going to plan here and actually, I'm guessing this is the 2014 season of cars honestly I didn't look into that so I saw the 42 and I I guess it's still racing I just haven't I'm <coughs> sorry about that got a bit of a cold I just I didn't realize that the 42 was still going around but this smoke is really getting on my nerves here. I want to have to lower the difficulty. It might even have to put it on the lowest difficulty here. Because it just doesn't want to be played with a keyboard here. That's frustrating. Hopefully you guys don't hate on me just because of that. Nothing really I can do here. I did not expect the game to be reacting like this. Because if you play 2013, you definitely know that um, it was absolutely fine with the keyboard. But it does not look like this game likes the keyboard whatsoever. So, you're probably going to have to put down the difficulty. I didn't even see what difficulty we got it on, so hopefully it can be lowered. If this is the lowest, I'm going to be a bit annoyed. But, you know, if this is on like the highest difficulty, I suppose I'm not going to be too annoyed. But, you know, I know that I should be faster than this, but it's just unfortunate that I can't go any faster than this because... Okay, that was a bit stupid. Because the car's really not reacting well to me using a keyboard. And it's just hard to precisely manoeuvre a car when when it goes from full lock to full lock just frustrating but guys I will be giving you a full review of this game a bit down the line I don't know whether this is a glitch or not but I certainly hope that this is going to be fixed because you know I'm pretty sure there are more people that play this with a keyboard so I'm not even sure this is supposed to be a simulator in, you know, in the way that it reacts realistically to real life I'm not sure what it's supposed to be I haven't really paid much attention to it. I don't think 2013 particularly worked very well with uh, a wheel, so I haven't really tried it. But if you really think it's better, I can set up the G27 uh, after a couple of episodes. But yeah, that, that, that wasn't ideal whatsoever, was it? A really bad run there. But anyway, I'm going to skip ahead to the next race we do here. So uh, yeah, be back in a second. Hi guys, we're back with the actual Daytona 500 now. And believe it or not, that was on the easiest difficulty so how on earth I'm going to be able to keep up with these guys I just don't know um, at least it's got, a, it's got a percentage slider if you're wondering but I literally have no idea how I'm going to keep up with these guys with, with, look straight away I'm just I lose like I bet I'm going to lose at least a second before I get to the line this is annoying um, but I'm sure you guys can leave me comments down below about what I can do to fix this. Do I just not use the keyboard whatsoever? Do I have to go out and get a game controller? Or what am I going to do here? Because that isn't, this isn't going to be fun. I'm not going to be able to keep doing this. And it, the difficulty won't go any lower. So I'm pretty much stuck with probably having to try out my wheel. But to be perfectly honest, I don't think this is going to react very well to the wheel either, to be perfectly honest. But we'll see what happens. Um, it does not look like it enjoys the keyboard use whatsoever because I'm having to constantly correct it down the straight um, on full lock. It's good, you know, around the corner I'm going full lock and uh, the car is just hating it. The tyres will be dead by the end of this race. But I'm hoping at some point I can. Um, oh no, the frames are dropping there. I'm not too sure how opt well optimised this game is as well. It's just going to be a lot of testing to see how well optimised this game is, to be perfectly honest. But it does not look like this game wants to be used with a keyboard. So that's just the thing for you guys out there that are looking to buy this game. Don't buy it if you're going to be getting, uh, if you've only got a keyboard. Uh, by the looks of it, you're going to have to have at least a wheel or um, um, a game controller pad, whatever you call it. You're going to need one of those for this to work, for this game to work, because this is. Just not liking the fact that I'm using a keyboard here. Cause it go yeah, I'm just going to show once again that it goes from one lock to the other. And literally I just can't do anything here to keep up with these guys. Earnhardt, after two laps, is 13 
probably going to be about 15 or 16 seconds by the time we get to the line. So that's just unfortunate, guys. But I will promise you that we will be fighting with the pack soon. We'll be fighting for wins. So remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It's always appreciated. And um, I'm really going to try my best to make these videos as best as possible. It's just unfortunate that this game just doesn't like the keyboard. I I probably could have tried it with the wheel, but I honestly didn't expect it to be any good with the wheel. So that's why I didn't try it. So you guys can leave me comments. I'm pretty sure you will about what's best for me here. Do I just stick with the keyboard and come last? Or do I set out my G27 and, and hope that it works with that? Um, because... You know, we're not losing that much time to Nemechek, but I think it's just that initial start where we lose a huge amount of time. Um, over the last lap, we haven't lost a huge amount of time to Nemechek, but I really, really wanted to be fighting with the pack, but it's not fun to be driving around the back by yourself like seven seconds off the pace. That's just ridiculous when you think about it. And it's not really anything in my control here um, that the game acts the way it does to um, keyboard. So that's just unfortunate. And I'm getting some serious frame rate drop here, so I'm not really sure what's happening as to how well optimized this game is, because it's just lagging so badly. Is it going to actually stop lagging or? Okay. Oh no, it's like okay. Well, I, don't, I literally don't know what happened here. Now it's happening again. Right, I'm going to have to stop the recording and restart it. I did not know what's going on with the frame rate here. It's just totally messed up. And by the looks of it, it doesn't... Oh, there you go. I need to restart this recording because it does not go into plan here. It doesn't look like it's very well optimised. Alright, so I'm sorry about that, but it doesn't look like this game is optimised perfectly well because I was getting consistent frames for a lot of it and now the frames have just gone off. So I, I don't know what's happening in terms of that. Whether that's my computer doing something in the background which was not expected or whether it just isn't optimized I don't know and it's happening again I literally don't know what is happening here why is it doing this I've got it I'm gonna have to find out for you guys because this is just ridiculous when you think about it one FPS what is happening with this game it, I'm thinking this game is quite broken Honestly, didn't want to do this, but I'm probably going to have to skip to the end of the race here because it's just not going to be uh, possible to finish like this. This is just ridiculous. Well, here we go. We crossed the line. That's really annoying, isn't it? The FPS just messes up after like three laps. Oh, well. I'm sorry about that, guys. I really am. I wanted to be able to go for the win there, but it's just it just hasn't worked out and we've we got a, a bad result. So... I'll see you in the next episode, whenever it comes out, probably tomorrow. But there, we're down in the last place with one point. I've got to get the game optimised. I've got to figure out how to be not so slow. But leave your comments down below, guys. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't. There will be lots of NASCAR content. I promise you I will find the, a fix to these issues. So thanks for watching. It's been Axe and I'm out of here. Goodbye. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. It's really, really appreciated. And if you have any comments, leave them down in the comment section. I'll try and reply to as many as possible. You've got two videos on your screen. To the left, the latest F1 career mode. And to the right, you've got a random video. You can click on which one you want to. And also, if you haven't checked out GT Omega, go and check them out. There's a link down in the description. And they've got really, really good racing cockpits. That's a really, really good prices. So go and check them out. Check out the videos on the screen. Check out my links, Facebook and Twitter, in the description. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's Blanks, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.